women look at you. And just by looking at you, they know how many children they're going to have for you. And this is not a girlfriend, it's a wife. Then someone called in yesterday. Na kaonge akatupea real. Huu ni mwaka wa kuongea ukweli. And I don't know if men pay attention to this. Inaitwa mathematics za familia. Acha maina, acha niambia hawa na umekwamba. Eh. Mtoto hata anguka kutoka kwa mti, ati wewe ni Isaac Newton umekaa kwa mti chini akuagukia kama kama maembe. Eh. Kwa sababu maina eh uh, during the pregnancy eh, have an 11 year uh, 11 uh, months old baby sahi eh yeah. yeah during the pregnancy eh mm. sahi wa, wa mama si kama kitambo wanaona mtu anaitwa OBS GYN hiyo yeah. ni gynecologist wa mama wa jawazito eh uh-huh. patient kumuona ni private hospital ni 2000 eh yeah. ataenda mara nne that is 8000 ambia mwalimu kingangi hivyo eh yeah. That is 8000 per month. Yes. Nine, uh, nine months eh tunaogea kuhusu karibu 8000. Yeah. Kwa hamwe? Yes. Haya, mtoto sasa yeye anakula kuliko gari. Hiyo gari uko nayo maina. Eh. Yeah. Akianza kunywa maziwa that is two packets per, per day. Yes. Pampa sasa hii ambayo ni ya bei rahisi ni less, not less than 1200 shillings. Eh. Yeah. Okay, kama na vuma watu unataka kupata watoto wanne, utakae na mtu mmoja. Na ujaza na uja nsabu house girl hapo house girl saa hii halipu hii kama kitabu hati nukumule hati umulipa elfu ina saa hii house girl mzuri ni 8k mm. mama kwa yada clinic huta si hati huu duu kwa tunayakerea mtoto kwa baisikali na stool mm. saa hii unamulipia uba hee na kurubi ni 1000 <laughs> na arazi anayada maraina kwa wiki that is 4000 that is 16000 per month hee <laughs> na o, o, kus, utarudi usena unapata watoto waina how do Kenyan men do those mathematics? What it's gonna cost you to raise a child? That's my question this morning. Ladies, take those things seriously. Wayne Cedric, uh, Wayne Cedric, a very good morning to you, my brother. Hope you're okay. Violet, I see you. So, Onyangu Brian Otieno Mambo VP and Jero Kenneth, I see you. Do men do these mathematics? Do you sit and Take out a piece of paper and a pen and say this is what I'm going to need. A, B, C, D. At least the budget for the first two years of a child's life. Did you do those mathematics? Let's be honest. You know women do those things. A woman will get pregnant when she knows she can take care of that pregnancy herself. At least until she gives birth. Are men aware of this mathematics? You and your swan to know Lisa Leo Subui. Why don't you give me a call? And let's be honest, guys. Have you ever given it a thought? Your wife is pregnant. Have you thought in your mind how much it's gonna cost you to have that baby? At least until after delivery. 0711-046105 is my number. Let's talk. If you want to hit me up via um, social media, my fan page is open. So are my Twitter handles at it's my neck again. You are classic 105 Kenya. Hashtag is my neck. Are men aware of what it takes to have a child? Guy who called in yesterday with some mathematics in mind. Asa, maina, eh. Asa, mtoto hata anguka kutoka kwa mti ati wewe ni Isaac Newton umekaa kwa mti chini akuagukia kama kama maembe eee kwa sababu wa maina eh uh, during the pregnancy eh uh, have an 11 year uh, uh, 11 uh, months old baby sahi eh uh. yeah during the pregnancy eh mm. sahi wa, wa mama si kama kitambo wanaona mtu anaitwa OBS GYN hiyo uh. ni gynecologist wa mama wa jawazito uh-huh. patient kumuona ni private hospital ni 2000 eee uh ataenda mara ine that is 8000 ambia mwalimu kengangi hivyo eee yeah. that is 8000 per month yes eee uh, nine months eh tunawagia kuhusu karibu 8000 yee yeah. kwe hamwe yes haya mtoto sasa hii anakula kuliko gari hiyo gari uko nayo maina eee yeah. akiaza kukunywa maziwa that is two packets per, per day yes pampa sasa hii abayo ni ya bei rahisi ni less, not less than 1200 shillings eee yeah. Okay, kama na vuma watu unataka kupata watoto wa ine, utake na mtuwa mweka. <laughs> na uja nsabu, na, 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 na uja nsabu house girl hapo? House girl, saa hii halipu hii kama kitabu hati nukumule hati umulipa elfu ina, saa hii house girl mzuri ni 8k. Mm. 
mama kwa yada clinic uta si adi huu duu kwa tunayekelea mtoto kwa baisikali na stool mm. sayi unamulipia uba hee wata na kurubi ni one thousand na arazi anayenda maraina kwa wiki that is four thousand that is sixteen thousand kwa month hee na oh, oh kusi utarudi useme unapata watoto waina and my question is do kenyan men do this mathematics elijah kibicho very good morning to you hope you're well my brother do kenyan men budget for their babies you know what zungus them they say they're gonna have a child in 2024 they start saving now felix agola is saying most of us start calculating the cost of having a baby when the baby is already on the way at this time even if mathematics is not adding up there's nothing you can do other than learn a lesson and be cautious for the next pregnancy so are you telling me that you've got no idea what your child is going to eat next week monique kings is saying every normal human being should sign kids that they are able to give the best life to the problem with some men is the mentality many kids make him a hero yet he can't provide it's a shame David Ogeto of Flowers is saying, if you start doing your calculations, minor, many youth will not get married. Die, tagi fresh. Ati, ata, alafu watakucheki kichwa, ajue kama atapusha manisizirian. I gotta play the full clip. That guest that he was on fire. Kelvin Mongi is saying, a man's financial status is a woman's family planning. More money, more kids. This is really interesting. Let me just repeat that tweet. A man's financial status is a woman's family planning method. Amazing. So how does this work? Are you saying you go to sleep not knowing if anything happens to your kids tomorrow? Then what are you going to do? Hello? Good morning, Maina. Morning. My name is John Wago Yes. Asa mimi ile kitu nataka kuuliza tu Maina. Eh. Hii mambo ya kupata watoto pia tiniwa wazee wa tunapanga. Eh. <laughs> Unaambia ngo kameingia. Eh. Na sasa wewe plan yako ilikuwa wawili. Eh. Karibu kuongelesha mama umwambie funga kukula kufuri ataki kula kufuri. Namwambia chaweka kufuri ataki kuweka kufuri. Eh. Ile hesabu inatukalia hapa. Eh so let me ask you a question yes ma'am why don't you take precautions yourself people say eh we delay in a summer visit eh we don't know the woman that i could have to that one of them are too much for me a boot translate kaya ni kwambi in a summer mwana ume ote ambaya mefinyo ama ana nguvu ya kiume hata wana ufali mwabinguni eh hiyo ni bibiliko eh so imetegemea sasa vile wewe utaongea na na mama umwambie yeye mimi yangu ni mbili so, so let me ask you a question yes. all those mathematics that gentleman did for us mm -hmm. do you ever think of that when you're told we are pregnant maana <laughs> sababu zingine tena hiyo ukifanya utakuwa wazimu so hold on so you know your wife is pregnant yeah so do you start when do you start saving for that child so you just go along whatever happens tomorrow if it needs money you look for it tomorrow <laughs> so where have you where are you having babies you can't budget for <laughs> Unajua wewe mtu tayari ulikuwa umepata mbili amekuongezea tatu. Wewe mwambie moja chuko ukatupe. Sasa so, nimebidi una claim zigo kwa mgongo. Hmm? Ona. So ile kitu tunaomba ni tujaribu wajaribu wenyewe. Ladies wajaribu kujipanga. Mwambie mimi nataka mbili. Let me ask you a question. Yes, How man. old is your child right now? Pardon? How old is your child? Mimi niko na watoto wawili. Eh uh -huh. how old are they? Mmoja kuna miaka 13. Eh. Mwingine yako miaka 6. Miaka 6. Yeah. Huyu wa miaka 6. Uh -huh. Simeanza ameanza standard 1. Yeah. So how much have you saved for that child? Ile kuambia ukweli kama kuna pesa nyingi yake labda ile kwa account yangu 1000. 1000? Eh. Uh 
Aya. Ongea ukweli. Okay. Eh, yeah, sababu hizo ndio iko. Kuna kucheza ya mtoto utatoa wapi? Na hadi uchumi umeharibika. Yes, mbereni kulikuwa na pesa ulikuwa na wasevia. But mtu alienda ukatoa ukawalipia shule this time. Eh. Yeah. pesa imeisha. Kuna pesa na hawa this time. Sure the baby you know now so, so, so you live by the grace of God. Exactly. Exactly. 100% kuzi ni upate unga na namba mbili na sukuma ya shilingi kumi mwende mkule nambia mungu asante asante mm. we what kind <laughs> what is this ladies how do you live with men who do not even budget mwrito wako standard six hili ya kunayo kwa account di elfu moja day by day na chochote kikitokea then hey ya Ibu let's talk. We talk about mathematics and whether Kenyan men actually do the math before they have a baby. Sasa maina sasa niambia hawa wanaume kwamba eh mtoto hata anguka kutoka kwa mti ati wewe ni Isaac Newton umekaa kwa mti chini akuagukia kama kama maembe. Eh Sasa kwa maina during the pregnancy have an 11 year 11 months old baby sahi eh. Yeah during the pregnancy eh? mm. sasa hii wa, wa mama si kama kitambo wanaona mtu anaitwa OBS GYN hiyo eh. ni gynecologist wa mama wa jawazito eh patient kumuona ni private hospital ni 2000 eh ataenda mara nne that is 8000 ambia mwalimu kingangi hivyo eh that is 8000 per month yes. Time, uh, nine months eh tunaogea kuhusu karibu 8000 yeah kwa hamwe Yes. Haya, mtoto sasa hivi anakula kuliko gari. Hiyo gari uko nayo maina. Eh. Yeah. Akiaga kunywa maziwa that is two packets per, per day. Yes. Papa sasa hivi ambaye ni abai rais ni not less than 1200 shillings. Eh. Yeah. Okay, kama na fuma watu unataka kupata watoto wanne, utakiwa na mtu mmoja. <laughs> na ujaza. Na uja mwalimu. Na uja hesabu house girl hapo. House guard sasa hii halipu kama kitabu ati nikumuleha ati umulipa 1400 sasa hii house guard mzuri ni 8k. Mm. Mama kwenda clinic huta si ati huu dukua tunaekelea mtoto kwa baisikali na stool mm. sasa hii unamulipia uba. Hey. Na kurubi ni 1000 <laughs> na arazi anaenda mara ina kwa wiki that is 4000 that is 16000 per month. Eh. Oku utarudi useme unapata watoto aina. Okay. And I want to ask you a question this morning. Do Kenyan men do this mathematics? Hey, the previous scholar, my god. Samuel Gishoi, good morning. You see a budget even for Zile Mboga na kula ugali nazo next week. So you can imagine bigger things like watoto. Life isn't just about serving kids. There are other things to accomplish. Now ukiza uh, bila mpango you'll drag yourself into absolute poverty and that's where I'm going to. That's where we're going to. Mbona tuna save kwenda holiday atuwezi save za mtoto? Mbona tuna save ili twende tufanye MBA ama eh, PhD next year lakini za mtoto atuwezi save? Peter Kimati good morning is in the nature of providing will vary from one family to another capacity but the issue is uh, with most women of comparison dio shida atitu watu wake wa kule wasome wabai koso koso kao eh kama walking mama just wanna know do we think of those expenses and it's worrying if we are not <laughs> but you don't think so hello good morning Maina. morning i'm following your conversation eh yes and i can see i, I think i don't know people live in kenya <laughs> Now I have got three kids. Yes. They are not actually kids, they are adults. Yeah, how old are they? Uh one is married, she is 28. Yeah. One is uh, 25 and the last one is a boy. Yeah. Who is doing his second diploma. Yeah. Now when I started the family, eh. I I never put a coin in the bank to say in a save because uh, mtoto anakuja in the month of October or September. Yeah. But I had a, I had nilikuwa na kazi. Yeah and i had my hassles yeah now when you're in employment you see a uh, something like a circle yeah you have you have your savings in the circle yeah and you your salary will come every month yeah 
And apart from children, there are many other things that someone needs to do, like constructing, uh, building the family, and so on. Sasa, what happens, eh? <coughs> we don't actually put money in the bank at he ni ya mtoto anakuja nitanunua ma diapers na nini hapana eh. when the child comes ile mshara hiyo mwezi eh. pesa yote inaenda kwa hiyo maneno kama eh. kama niko kwa sako nachukua ka loan ka emergency kana kanafanya hiyo maneno that is how things work in Kenya wazungu ndio wako na hiyo mambo ya kusave pesa let me ask you a question bwana Maina eh. you expect to have kids maybe in future yes you how much have you saved right now if you can tell us the truth you are a kenyan yeah you're okay because you have investments and everything else so what is this question of putting money aside in, in a bank account for what mtoto anazaliwa what kusema mtoto kuja na sahani yake i don't know what that means and i don't believe in it but i think mtoto akija na kuja na pata pali tuko tunaendelea na maisha that is my take and that is how you've raised your three children and that is how i've raised my children she has gone up to university the boy is doing his second diploma the girl has done uh, diplomas and other courses and they're okay so you never i never i never miss sleep because i didn't put a coin in the bank at i'm, I'm supposed to pay school fees I'm, I'm supposed to pay college fees in the next two months i never put money in, a, in an account but you are lucky you never underwent any emergencies no, I never underwent any emergencies. That I was lucky for that. That is why you need to thank your lucky stars. Because yes, then if an, if, a, if an emergency happened, then what would, have you, what would you have done? Oh my God. Now, why is Mr. Kengang so quiet? He's not telling us, come on, I'm safe. Who you are now? Hata dini harda. You know you, you are lucky. There were no emergencies. Yeah, and that's so, what I'm saying but, because but you it's cannot good for people to plan for emergencies. But yes. the problem with our African culture, yeah, you put savings for a certain thing, and then something else comes up. Your brother has been arrested. We're not taking your thirty thousand. God, you're going to work. Why not tell you Africa to go number two? Have a good day and enjoy your day. You have a great day and good for you. Give my love to the kids, huh? Exactly, Mr. Maina. Thank you so much. Asante, Asante. You see where I'm coming from? It is about the emergencies. What if something happens? That is all, that's what we are not getting. He's lucky. He went through a relatively very safe, very happy, incident-free period of raising his children. How many emergencies do we see every day? And Kenyan men, you cannot leave that burden to your women. You can't. And it's all about mathematics. Zawatoto. A very good morning to you. Shamban, wala viva lounge. Good morning. You're saying, salimia kengangi. Watoto wakikushina peleka children's home. But there surely has got to be some budgeting done. What I've realized more this morning, ladies, and you better watch out. If you don't budget, imagine you're alone because these guys don't. And the guy who called in to set the tone for our morning, I'm going to play the full conversation later on this hour because there are things he said in our call that was just crazy. But have the final word. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Yes. Of course, Alama. Maina, Sasa. Eh. Hey. Hey. Mambo ya kusema di mdoto anakuja na saani yake. Eh. Hiyo kwanza wanaume waache. Hakuna siku Maina ushaienda pale ati mmesha sasa maliziwa pale matane tumetoa mtoto. Yes. Una, unaona daktari amerudi na hapo nyuma anakuja na seba sasa. Huyu mtoto amekuja na hii sahani. Yes. Eh mtakuwa mkigonga hapo kama Moses inatoka maji <laughs> na, na, na chakula. Yeye. Hakuna. Kwa watu wanaume wakipaga. Na wewe kila weekend uko pale kama Marcus no jo hinanyama. Eh. <laughs> Ukiambia wanaume ati nimezaa kadume akawa mfana. Yenyewe. Bora nimezaa kadume. Eh. Unatumia pale around 8000 brudisha marafiki na mtoto wako no mamira. Hakuna kitu anakuwa anakunywa ile 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 kwa kinakengange ile uji na tengenezo na mbokoi. Aki. Yes. Wacha watu wajipange. Wacha watu wajipange. Sasa hii mtoto akidagata na anakujua kwa basi na basi kwa mrango. Hey. Yes. 
una, unafikiria tena amen by the way yeah, yeah. hapo kamaki unatumia una elfu nane ama elfu kumi <laughs> ama elfu kumi uki celebrate the bar of mimi ni meza kadume <laughs> Oh my god, I do know if you get the overall picture. And that's exactly what's up. That's it right there.